know how many people that wanted to be around Jesus. Amen. Amen. But Jesus only anointed 12. <laughs> when the door shut, only going to be 12 with me. Come on. I'm only going to teach 12, even though I see the multitude. Didn't mean Jesus didn't love them. Right. Didn't mean that Jesus didn't care. That's right. It just simply meant that Jesus invested a certain amount of time in these. Yes. What if you don't watch yourself, you will be invested so much time, money, emotions in a person until the next thing you know, you won't be able to find them no more. Uh, and you lost out on everything on. you invested. Come on. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, if I wash not your feet, thou hast no part. <laughs> Flip side of this, if God decides to get emotional with you, you ought to see it as honor. Yeah. God, said, God said, Peter, I know you think you're not worthy of this, but if I decide to get down on my knees, by your master. I know you seen me healed. I know you seen blinded eyes open. Come out, come out, I know you seen major things happen with these hands. But today, I just want to watch your feet. Because mm. I want to impart into you who I am. Who I, I want you to know who I am. I want you to understand the privilege it is to be close to me. Yeah. See, people don't understand how privileged they are to know you. Come on. Come on. See, you ain't talking about them. Come on. Come on. Come on. But it's people that's in your circle that should understand how privileged it is to know who you are. Yeah. Everybody can't get in your inner circle. That's right. Everybody can't be around you. You don't trust everybody. Folk that lie to you. So if I decide to have you in my circle, you understand, you ought to understand that I want a part of you and I want you to have a part of me. Now if you don't see people, if you see people that you can't glean from and can't glean from you and they're always around you, you need to get away from them. You need to check your, and look, what, look what I'm trying to tell you is check your company. Check your company. Check who on the left and who's on the right. Check around you. Time out for you just walking with folk that you don't know what they're about. You call with people. And you have no idea where they came from, what they're doing, what their intentions are. And next thing you know, they be done talked about you, slammed your hand in the door, and everything else. And they want to see you messed up. And you ain't done nothing but what you're supposed to do, which is love them. That's right. Jesus said, I want you to know who I am. I want you to have part of me. <laughs> investing in the people. Somebody say, investing in the people. Investing, investing in, in the, the people. people. Tell you something, y'all, y'all do it. Y'all don't even know it, but you yeah. do it. You are investing in the people. On your job, you invest in them. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Everybody can't come to your desk on your job and talk to you. Nope. Amen. Amen. Certain few. Yep. Okay. Certain few. Yep. And then guess what? You know if they like you or not. Uh -huh. That's right. Yeah. And then there's some people you ain't even sure about. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come, Come and talk to you. Hey, 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 hey. Did you see the way she looked at <laughs> Yes, they did. 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 Y
Because that's, that's the nature. So therefore, you have to watch who's around you. Let's read, let's read, let's read, let's read. Watch this. I want to start from, I want to read something else here. I want you to jump down here to, I want you to jump down here to, Uh, let, let, let's read to uh, let's read 21 go to 21 and when Jesus had thus said he was troubled in his spirit and he testified and said very very I say unto you that one of you yes, that was true. shall betray you then the disciples looked one on another, doubting of whom he spoke. Now there was, there was leaning on Jesus' bosom, this man leaning on Jesus' chest, one of his disciples whom he loved, Simon Peter, therefore beckoned to him that he should ask who it should be of whom he spake. He then lying on Jesus' breast said unto him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is he it is to whom I shall give sop when I, when I have dipped it. And when he had dipped the sop, he gave it to Judas Scarlet. Son of Simon. And after the sop, Satan entered into him. Watch this. Then said Jesus unto him, Watch this. That thou do it, do quickly. Jesus. So, let me say this to you. Come on. Let me say this to you. First thing I want you to know, <clears throat> out of every 12 people that's in your life, there's uh, one that's against you. Well, <laughs> well, if you oh even my got God. 12. Oh my God. And, and let, me, let, let me help you. Because some of you just thinking, friends, out of every 12, uh -huh. I don't care if it's mom, daddy, father, sister, brother, out of 12, out of 12 of them, is one in that bunch. What? You pick the twelve. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on, Pastor. And if you think uh, all the twelve, every one of them love you the same, <laughs> something wrong with you. Because <laughs> right. the scripture saying out of all twelve, uh -huh. there's always one, one person in there that's envious, jealous of what you got, mad, because you light skin, new, black, come on. man. Come on, come on. Because your feet are eight and then the 14. Come on. Come now, I'm, on. I'm trying come to tell you. See, 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 let me tell you. Let me say this to you, Lord yeah. You don't know why I hate my hands. That's right. All right. You don't know why they hate us. So you don't know why they hate us. They, just, they hate because they hate us. Bridge builders build bridges because they're bridge builders. Haters hate because they hate us. You don't y'all y'all get that. I got you. I got you. That if they if you solve one problem why they hate you, they gonna find another reason to hate you. And if you fix that one, guess what? They gonna say, they gonna say, you know why I hate her? Cause she fixed everything I hated her about. Ain't that the truth? I'm mad at her cause she fixed what I had, I had against her. That's a shame. Amen. It's the truth. I could used to could talk about her cause she walking. Now she got a car, she thinks she all in. Now watch this. 
Now Jesus said, look, I'm going to point out who I mean, who, who got a problem with me. Now I love them, but they got a problem with me. And what the, the major, the, the crazy part of this text is that Jesus said to him, this is the hate. What blessed me was Jesus said, now whatever you're going to do to me, get out here and do it. Mm. That thing blew my mind. If you're going to lie with me, go lie. If you're going to steal from me, steal. Don't waste no more time trying to be in my face. Yeah. Don't waste no more time acting like you like me. Don't waste no more time smiling with me. Talking about he's God of my salvation. Don't do that. Go do what you're going to do against me. Let me tell you something. You need your haters to hate on you. And not tomorrow. You need them to hate today. God of my Oh, I feel the Lord here. You need your haters to go ahead and go against right. you right now. Right. Go, get it out. Get it over with. Right. Stop wasting my time and your time pretending like you're my friend. That's right. Mm. Oh. Yes. My God. Y'all yes, not trying to hear me, yes, but I'm preaching so hard right now. Because so many times we got imposters. Yes. Come on. You got people imposturing, and they, they, they imposters trying to be like they your they your best friend. Okay. And at the same time, you wish that they, the truth would just come out. Yes. I'm wasting my time with you. I'm giving you my good food. I'm washing on your feet. I'm investing, and the whole time you got a plan to turn me in. Jesus said, whatever you're going to do, go on, get out of here and do it. Yeah, amen. No, no, I'm going to read the rest of this because I need you to see this. I need you to see this. Now, I'm going to read from this scripture because I need, to know, I need you to understand. Verse 28 is narration. See, the Bible also has, they have actual text that shows what happens. They have what they said, but then they have narration. So all of this next scripture from 28 to 30 is just narration telling you what's happening. Okay. All right. But watch this. Now, when Jesus said this, he did not stop in his speaking. <laughs> this is Bible one on one. Right? <laughs> right now. now, no man at the table knew what intent he spake unto him. It's narration. He's telling you what's happening. For some of them thought because Judas had the bag that Jesus had said unto him, buy those things that we need against the feast, yeah. Yeah. or that he should give something to the poor. Mm -hmm. He then having received the sock, went out immediately, and it was night. Uh -huh. No man knew uh -huh. that Jesus said, go tell me. No one in there knew right. that he was telling Jesus to go hate, uh -huh. go lie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But because he had a bag of money, they thought that Jesus was telling him to go buy some food for the feast. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They thought that Jesus was saying, go get some money to the poor. But Jesus won't tell them to do none of that. He was saying, go do what you're going to do against me. Amen. Because what Jesus said is what I'm saying. I want to get it over with. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Jesus, Jesus wanted to get that thing that was, was stopping him. I'm going to read this so you can understand. Watch this. Let me read this. We're going to omit. We're going to omit verse 28 through 30 because now you know what happened. Going back to 27, we're going to jump from 27 to 31 because all of this was said at the same time. Okay. You got me? <laughs> After the shop saving entered into him, then Jesus said unto him, That thou doest do quickly. Then he says, Therefore, when he was going out, Jesus said, Now is the Son 